Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you my hemming and trimming technique that I use using a twin needle when I'm sewing something with knit fabric. So let's get started. First of all, let me show you the two that I have that I use most often. This one is quite a bit wider than this one here. This is the narrower one is the one that I use the most often when I am hemming something. So I'm going to show you what they each look like so you'll get an idea of what the differences are. As far as inserting the needle, it just it's going to go in just like a regular needle does and then you just tighten the screw, make sure it's all the way up and that's it. Now the only other thing you got to make sure I don't know if I mentioned this already. Make sure that you've got your regular um, needle plate on here, not the not like a single needle uh, or a straight stitch plate, which sometimes will just have one hole. You need to have room for the two needles. So that is it for installing the needle. Now you'll just you're just going to thread your machine. Now, however you thread your machine, you're going to go ahead and do that just like you normally would. When you get down here, you're just going to do what you normally would. I'm going to put my thread through all the little hook there and that. And this one is going to go on the left side. And then it's time for the second needle. Now on this machine, this little second spool holder just sits, you just fold it back. It's always there. But on some machines, like I have a, um, a brother machine, it has a separate spool holder that you attach to the machine. You just follow the instructions for doing that. But with this one, that is where the second spool is going to go. and going to thread this one just like I did the other. Now both threads are there and let me put the I'm just going to use the regular foot because you also have to make sure that your sewing machine foot is wide enough for both of those twin needles. So you're going to use usually it's a standard foot that you're going to use for your twin needle and what I do is increase my stitch length to about between three and a half and four and it's a regular straight stitch. This is our pretend um, t-shirt hem. So you're say you folded up your hem for the demonstration. I'll do a little bit more. So that's you folded up the hem and then you're going to turn it over of course because you're going to stitch from the right side. So this is a close-up of the two. I did not show you uh, sewing with the wider needle because it's literally the same thing, just a wider needle. But now you can see the difference in this close-up um, of how wide the, the difference in the two. So let me show you the trimming technique that I use because you're going to have excess fabric on the back and this we're pretending this is our t-shirt hem. Um, you're going to have excess fabric left over here on the back. Pro probably not this much, but this is just to show you what, um, what I'm talking about. And I will show you how I get rid of that. It helps reduce the bulk. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Now the first technique I'll show you is going to be using these duckbill scissors. Um, they are I guess really applique scissors but what I will do is take these and the whole point is just trimming this away because I won't surge it because that will add kind of a ridge to the garment on the, on the underside so if you want to trim away take duckbill scissors and just carefully go through I sort of lift this up a little bit trim close to the stitching 
And the reason that these scissors make it easier and a little bit safer is because with this flat part there, that sort of protects the fabric on the right side so you don't cut into it, which trust me, I've done before. That's not fun. Obviously you can trim, <laughs> trim neater than this, but that's to give you an idea of what it looks like with these duckbill applique scissors. The other type of scissors that I use are these, which are curved scissors. These are the ones that I used to use um, before I had those other ones. And it's basically the same thing. You just keep the scissors flat on the fabric and you're going to slowly go around, go through and just raise up the part you want to trim and carefully do that so that you hopefully will not cut through your garment on the right side. And there you go. So two different ways of dealing with the excess fabric on the underside. This was the, the twin needle it is the hemming part. The scissors are the trimming part of this de little demonstration I wanted to do. But that's basically it. Um, it's just, you know, you're going to use this when you want to, um, want to hem. I will use a twin needle. Like I said, I normally use the narrower one here. Um, I will do that when I'm hemming the bottom of a t-shirt. So you all, that is basically what I wanted to share with you today. Uh, when I use a twin needle is generally like for this t-shirt here, I did use it on the uh, sleeve hems and at the bottom hem. I will also, depending on the neckline, I also may use it around the neckline because if I have done any serging, that will actually hold down that, um, that seam, that bulk, if you will, um, around the neckline. And it actually gives it a nice look from the outside. So I will do that. I don't really serge the, the sleeve hem or the bottom hem because it's not, if, if it's a knit, it's really not going to fray. And I've learned not to add that extra thread because that can be a little bit bulky looking from the right side when you, when you wear it. So that's why I like the twin needle and the trimming away that extra fabric there. If you have a cover stitch machine, I guess you wouldn't have to do any of this. You would just use your cover stitch. I don't have that. So this is what I do in order to have a nice finish on a shirt. So you can use your regular sewing machine. Like I said, I do generally I'll make, I'll make them or at least most of the parts with the serger and then do hemming and things like that on the regular sewing machine. If you don't have a serger, then you will use your regular sewing machine and a regular needle and do a zigzag stitch and that will be uh, perfect because you need that zigzag stitch, not a straight stitch, in order to allow for the stretch, the stretchiness of the fabric. That's it for my little demonstration for you today. So that is it for this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments about anything, please leave them down below. I appreciate all of you for watching. And if you have any other ideas of, especially uh, sewing with different types of knit fabric, uh, let me know. And I can maybe try to set up a little demo or little, do a video on whatever technique or something that you might uh, have a question about, but please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you have not done so already. I appreciate all of you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.